Well, Coach Prime is having a great season at the start uh, with the Colorado Buffaloes. He took a team that was 1-11 in uh, the previous year, now they're 3-0, at least at the filming of this video. I know they got a game coming up uh, in Oregon uh, for Saturday. Well, Coach Prime is a problem. And I, I want you to just check out this short clip because we want to build on that. Lord, oh, oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to be offensive. Do not. Do not. Do not let my confidence appear your insecurity, please. You see what Coach Prime said at the end, that's the whole thing. See, they don't like to see a confident black man because a confident black man is very, um, you know, alluring to a lot of people. They are drawn to a confident black man, especially a confident black man that backs it up. You know, like a brother like Muhammad Ali. He was one of those brothers that he will talk and back it up. You understand what I'm saying? And so many people are just drawn to us our personalities, our style, everything. And I say people, not just black people, but people all over the country and all over the world is drawn to us. See, we don't have to get people drawn to us through oppression, fear, or paying them a lot of money. That's what the white supremacists have to do. We can do all that just on the strength of who we are and our talent. But Dion and what he's doing, he's you know messing with a lot of stereotypes too, and that's another problem. See, they want to put out there that the black father is the most horrible father ever. He's not there. But then you see Dion with his sons, coaching his sons, hugging his sons, even, you know, being a mentor and father to these other players that, that we see on the field. They don't like that whatsoever. Dion is making deals for himself. They don't like that. But Dion is really tame compared to what he used to be. I mean, Dion was hella flamboyant and mouthy and all kind of other things that Dion was. And De cause Dion was the top of the top, NFL, MLB. You know, Dion played both sports at a high level. You don't see too many of them doing that today. So Dion actually is tame, tame from what he used to be, actually. But they don't like to see it. And now they really even turn this into a racial matter. At first it's supposed to be just football, but you gotta remember Jimmy the Greek, when he talked about how if all the black people are taking over the play, being the players, and if they become coaches, what's going to be left for the white guys? And see, the rise of Deion Sanders and showing, hey, black coaches doing their thing, and these black coaches can talk to these black play, players in ways that the white coaches can't because they relate to them or who they are, where they come from, right? Then, um, yeah, that, that's not bothering them because they want to have this monopoly where it's okay a bunch of black players, but it has to be a white quarterback and a, a white coach, and that's fine, because in their mind, with the white guys leading them on the, on the sidelines and on the field. But you have black coach, black quarterback, you know, oh no, oh no, 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 that's messing up uh, uh, football, social order. You understand what I'm saying? But also, Dion is gonna inspire many other black men. Black men that maybe they should spend more time with their kids or their sons um, being at the football games and being heavily involved, that things like that can inspire other men. They don't want to see that. They want black men to be beaten down, disrespected constantly. And every time they do this, we still rise to the occasion as brothers. So yes, Coach Prime is a problem for them. It don't matter if he win a bowl game this year, he still won't be liked by the folks. Won't because they never want to see a black man shine, never. It don't matter even if he's coaching at their university, they still don't want to see him shine. You had white people that was rooting for Colorado State, not because they were Colorado State fans, but just because they hate Dion and they wanted to see Dion lose. Hey, boy, y'all evil, like just enjoy the football game, man. Bet the best team win. Why you got to, like, but you know, we have to understand the white supremacists, for them, they turn everything racial. Everything. Something that you shouldn't even be thinking about racism about, and they turn it into a racial uh, contest. Boxing, turn that into a racial contest. Everything is racial. Like, Jesus Christ, would you turn off the white supremacists in you just for a freaking uh, couple of days and just enjoy a football game? Like, what kind of life is that to lead? That all you do is focus on racism, race, and all that, it's, you know, <laughs> but, you know, shout out to Coach Prime, because Coach Prime is doing a phenomenal job, and, you know, I know they're rooting for this brother to lose, look, I mean, you can't win every single game, 
eventually it could happen, right? But even if it happened, okay, you lose one game. And, you know, I mean, hey, you got beat by the better team that day, you got beat by the better team. But shoot, if he lose one game, watch how they act. Just one game, they're going to act like he lost them all.